Thank you for welcoming me onto your screens or onto your headphones, depending on how you're watching this. I'm Eddie, and I have a guest. Uh, what's your name? Alexander. Yeah, so that's actually my nephew, folks. Uh, he'll be helping me out on this uh, cross over episode. It, I'm doing this with my nephew because he loves YouTube and he wants to be a part of it. This, so here you go. Uh, that said, we're going to be covering. Well, so today we're going to be reviewing the new movie, the the new but like you review um, movie the, that we watched probably last like last weekend. So uh, the movie was really good. I thought the movie was so so funny. I appreciate the love. I love the movies way too much. Lightyear. Uh, it's the movie that Andy saw in 1995. Uh, essentially what happens is a young space ranger by the name of Buzz Lightyear maroons not just himself but his whole like team on the planet and the whole story is just him trying to get them back off planet. Uh, dealing with shenanigans galore, dealing with the evil Emperor Zerg, uh, dealing with an inept team which really lives up to the inept part. I'm not joking man, I'm not. So for the cast, uh, Buzz Lightyear is not played by uh, Tim Allen for once. Uh, they'll probably tell you the reason, the official reason is they want to try something else. I think it was more politically motivated, but maybe I'm wrong here. That said, um, so the, the Buzz Lightyear, he was uh, the voice was Captain America. No. Yeah. Wait. So the so the Bob was Captain America. Yes, the voice was Captain America. <laughs> Uh, Lightyear is played by the most American American to have ever American, Chris Evans, Captain America himself, voices Buzz Lightyear. Kiki Palmer is also in this film. She uh, speaks for Izzy Hawthorne. Uh, Izzy Hawthorne is the granddaughter of Buzz's best friend and his partner. Uh, Captain Hawthorne? They were actually give her her first name. Alicia Haw Alyssa? Alicia Hawthorne. Uh, played by Uzu Abuda. I hope I'm not butchering that pronunciation. I do apologize if I am. Uh, that said, though, these two have quite the relationship. And it's not a romantic one. It's genuinely one of close friendship. Uh, one of those heartfelt parts of the film is when uh, she dies. Like, it, part of this film is the fact that there's always a, a time jump forward every time Buzz comes back from a test run. It's about four years. Well, inevitably, after about maybe ten tries or so, uh, his best friend passes away. Uh, and it's genuinely one of the like most heart-punching parts of the film, but nonetheless, we're on course. Uh, we, there are some other actors, though, with part of this film that we should talk about. Peter Stone plays Sox. Sox is like this like medical cat who has some really funny parts. Um, he's meant to be like a comfort thing for Buzz, but ends up becoming like probably his best friend. Uh, which is honestly adorable. I don't like, I, I don't love cats. I don't hate cats. I don't love cats. But yeah, no, no, cute cat. Um, what was your favorite part about the movie? Okay, so my favorite part of the movie was that one that the, the one that the cat appeared in the movie that actually fade and then turned up alive. Like. What else is there? We also have Taco Watiti, believe it or not, Thor, the Thor director, uh, the rat catcher, one. Uh, is also in this film. He plays Mo Morrison, a fresh but naive recruit. Um, again, like they're like the junior, like practice squad. Uh, this team of misfits. Uh, Key Palmer is obviously the leader. Izzy is their leader. Uh, then we also have one Dale Solus who plays Darby, an elderly convict uh, who has to join the like junior light, the junior cadets for like parole reasons, which is still funny. Yeah, it's still funny. Uh, also, lastly, we have Josh Brolin, not James, not Josh Brolin, James Brolin, uh, playing elderly Lightyear slash Zerg, because th it fits. I mean, granted, there was a version where Zerg was Buzz's father, then there was he was just an evil emperor, and now he's an elderly Buzz, which kind of makes sense, because Buzz is, like, so dead-ass set on the mission at all costs that it's, like, at all costs. Um, but really... Really interesting, though. Um, this film, it's odd. It could, because it bombed at the box office, technically. Like, it, the budget was 200 mil. It didn't even make that back. I don't get why, though. Like, the story was solid. The action was great. Wasn't the action great? Yeah, the, the, yeah, the action part. 
See, like that's a kid's opinion. Like if his opinion is in fact, like nothing else is. He's the one the audience like this movie was made for him, and he liked that part. Um, but no, so it's in, it's weird because the story was like fucking solid as a rock. You know, Zerg is what Buzz would be if the mission was truly all that mattered versus, you know, you know what? The people here matter. Because, like, that, that paradox does come up. Like, if he does find a way uh, to, to you know, time travel, what's it going to do to all the people that were born, you know, in between that point? What's going to happen to the Izzy and you know, everyone else? What was your favorite part about the movie? Okay, so my favorite part of the movie was that one that the one that the cat appeared in the movie that actually fade and then turned back alive. Like uh, in addition to that though, uh, besides great action sequences, great like visual effects, everything the visual effects were good, right? Um, is there anything else you wanna say about the movie? Well, Yes, so the, the animation work was so great. It looked so good. They did a really, really good job on the animation work, like like the but the but the odd but the hardest animation work of of the of the like the hardest animation work was the blinking thing. That's the hardest part of the, of your animation though, like like the blinking. See visual effects, fucking solid. I mean, effing solid. Yeah. That said, um, Lightyear, solid story, great visual effects. Um, I, I, I loved every part of it. There was also like these cool little like uh, things that would fit for a film at the time, like Ivan, the the uh, the navigation system. He has to take it out, blow into it like a cartridge, and put it back in. Like that's that's fucking adorable. Like that's timely. That that's what you would expect from a film of that time. Oh, also. I love the fact that the story starts with a failure. Buzz is too sure of himself. He causes the wreck to happen. He feels it's his responsibility. He bears that weight on him. And after the first run, he comes back and it's been four years. He's devastated, but then he takes a moment to realize, I can do this. Like, we don't give up on the mission, no matter what. Finish the mission. So he tries again and again and again. And it's not the story that you expect. You expect it a straightforward fighting good guy, fighting bad guy, whatnot. But it's it's not. It's far more complicated than that um it's it's this space ranger trying to do the right thing in spite of other people getting in his way um i i don't see why this film was a bomb if the story was solid action-packed great visual effects solid cast solid marketing i don't understand that but it's probably because all the stupid dinosaurs and they are stupid they're stupid Oh, I did want to point out something real quick. Do you notice that it takes a lot of characteristics from, like, the Lightyear TV show and the initial, like, Buzz Lightyear uh, Star Command, The Adventure Begins? Anyone else notice that? Because you have, like, the plucky, like, go, like, go tough female. You have, like, the really awkward one that's, like, kind of soft, that's tall. You got the small, explodey one. Like, really socks is the only really new addition, if you think about it. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of similarities between the two. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, I also love the fact that we had like beta versions of the Lightyear suits that we would initially get. And man, I hope we get a sequel because I think it could be great. That uh, the the last part where you see Zerg, like he survived the explosion, he's going to come back. I, oh, I can't fucking wait to see it. I'm sorry. I cannot F wordingly wait to see that because it's going to be awesome if they do it. Um,. But no, everything from like, because even I noticed that like these suits are missing a bunch of parts. And then you see like, oh, like it's a it's a thing for the laser. It's like an attachment component. Now it's standard issue. The part with the wings. Now it's standard issue. Stuff like that. I loved every moment of that. Your favorite character in this movie? Buzz, of course. <laughs> Why? Well, because Buzz had the had the anime, like 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 Buzz was like the fly animation. It was so good. Like, like, like the fly animation of Buzz, it was so good than the than, than the first one. Like, like they did a really good job since, 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 since the first movie came out. So. Mm. Uh, this film had me grinning your ear. And also, if I'm being honest, this was a bit of a family experience for me. Uh, I actually went to go watch this film with, it was me, my wife, my mother, my sister, her daughter, my other sister, my brother-in-law, 
my niece and my two nephews. Like this was a family affair for me. And I think I probably had the most fun of anybody because I was just smiling the whole time because this film gave me something that you would hope films are able to give most people, which is escapism. You know, at a tough time, at a stressful moment, at, you know, life happens, you go to the movies to escape. And genuinely, this film gave me the most escapism I've had in a very long time. Uh, just to give you an idea of how much I love this film, uh, and, and I texted Chema this after, uh, the Batman was a lock for my number one of the year. Like, easy. Like, come on, it's the Batman. Now I'm not sure. That's how good this film was. This is how much I enjoyed this incredible film. It was made with love. You could tell there was painstaking work put into it. And I appreciate every part of it. Also, look, I'm wearing my Toy Story shirt for a reason. Like, they made these in adult for a damn reason. Um, also, one of those suits. I'm just saying, that's going to be a badass costume. If I can make one, I'm going to do it. So, I guess I have to acknowledge some of the cons, and I think the only real con that I can really find is I understand that people complain that the story was a little too straightforward. I get it. I just, I don't care. Like, I had so much fun watching this film. Like, I don't see any bad part of it. Um, some will tell you that there was a major controversy. That that's the sole reason why it didn't perform well. Um, that controversy, I'm just going to say it right now, is complete bullpucky. I'm going to use that language. Bull pucky. That said, though, um, what did you not like about the movie? Um, it was when like I don't think I ever really put I don't I don't think I have any scenes that I don't like. This film deserves so much better, and I hope it finds a lot of love on Disney Plus. And I hope we do get a sequel. I don't know if we will. Maybe the merchandise alone might justify it. Because to be fair, no one could have seen the the direct success of Jurassic Park uh, Dominion. Like, dude, I didn't see it coming. So the fact that it did so well, like, took the kids all away from, like, Lightyear to go see the dinosaurs. No one could have seen that happening. I sure shit didn't. Um, that said, though, yeah, Lightyear is an, it, it's an A+, plus if you can't tell. Um, I recommend everyone go watch it. It has something for everybody, even the adults. You're going to like the action and the jokes. It's just, it, it works. It's a good, it's a good movie. Man, it was just great. <laughs> I was happy to watch it. Also, here's the thing I made. Uh, so, fun fact. Uh, my Nikki's anniversary was right around when Lightyear came out. So, she bought me this. And I made it. I, I, I legit, I made that. Yeah. That's it. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to thank... Yeah. That's it. That's going to wrap up this episode. Um, please like and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. We're always trying to grow this channel. We're up to 30 subscribers. Yes. When we hit 50, we'll do like a play along or something or a watch through. It's something. We'll do something for 50 subscribers. Well, when we get there, if and when we get there, hopefully. Uh, that said, also go check out our podcast. It's great, uh, especially when I'm on there. I'm typically on there most of the time. Um, yeah. Catch you all later. Bye, everybody.